Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Tech It 101. I'm Blue Gnome and we're going to take a look at mining today. So, a welcome back as I said and I want to begin with uh, showing you what I did uh, since last episode. First things first, this is a little modification I made. You um, probably noticed it and this is so that the um, pipes will not overflow and the items will not um, get out of the pipes because one of the problems of the old system was that when you put in um, different kinds of ores it would just go apeshit and um, everything would drop out right here now with uh, this system if it can't go in it'll just go back circle round and then it'll try again um, this is an iron pipe you just make it um, well just uh, like any regular pipe really just glass in the middle and the materials on the sides and what this does is the uh, blocked off side doesn't allow items to go through this means that um, the items can go out of the chest and into the pipes but not out of the pipes into the chest so it can go this way but it cannot go this way um, here it's just the same, can go this way but it cannot go that way and it can also not go that way. Um, there may be a small problem with this and that's uh, that this may not be uh, configured right. So I made a wrench, I'll show you how to make it in just a minute. You just right click and as you can see the spots change. You have to configure it like this to make it work properly. Now. How do I make a wrench? You need some iron ingots and some stone gear and I'm going to show you how to make a gear. Um, gears are very important because you l uh, need them in mm, a lot of machine recipes. So the first gear you'll probably make is a wooden gear. You need sticks and then you make the wooden gear like this. You take it out. Um, you can't make a give me a sec a stone gear like this because well not because it's just impossible you have to put a wooden gear in the middle and upgrade it to actually make a stone gear now you have a stone gear you just take some metal and put it there there and there and there you have it your own very own wrench um, so that's what I did I'm going to um, oh the other thing I did before I forget I made an extractor so as I told you many many times already mm, wait do I have a tree tap? No I do not um, a sticky resin yields one rubber when you put it in an oven but it yields three when you put it in an extractor and I'll just demonstrate it very quickly for you don't want to get blown up or, or something so just take some resin run back into the house there we go oh good no don't open the doors. You know what? We're, we can take this guy. No problem. Ha. Huh. So, there we go. Okay. Extractor. Sticky resin. Hop. We put one in and there will be three rubber that come out. And this is actually a way better method, method to get rubber because, well, you'll need a lot of rubber. And this will get you the rubber you need. Um, so one, two, three, come on. Yes, rubber. Okay, good. Now that we have rubber, I wanted, I, I got a question um, on my previous episode, and the, uh, the um, Mr. Money Boy, he wanted to me to explain how I hooked this up. And I thought by myself, well, that's actually a very good question because I didn't really. Um, a lot of attention to that so I'm just going to show you I'll take out the floor here for a second there we go so I hope you can see it a little bit better um, this needs to go too there we go um, there we go okay first things first the energy comes from outside it then goes through the bad boxes into here um, the proper way to hook up a bad box I should probably show you 
is wait this has to go um, there is are many inputs and there is only one output to a bad box as you can see the dot here is the output so you need to well configure it so that the output goes the way you want it to the input well can be any other side besides that if you want to configure it also wrench is needed but I believe it's not uh, this one it's this one I'll just show you no not this one here you need bronze oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god, oh god. no no I don't want to clean up your mess there we go so as you can see I uh, hooked up the bad boxes with the output to the right side and it comes in here now the output on this bad box here is there on that well on this side right here that's where the output is and what it basically does is it goes well it powers uh, this extractor for one thing then goes through to another bad box the output is here because I don't want an energy loss so I put a bad box in between it then goes up to power the furnace and it goes sideways to power this bad box which in turn powers this macerator now that you know how to configure it I hope you understand I'll just show you quickly for just a minute I do want to have this thing back the dot is on this side because this the this side where the power needs to go to is the output so hope you understand now and thank you for the question if there are any other questions I'll be happy to answer them um there we go one two three just fix up the, f uh, the floor a little bit and there we go it's now all right good Mm, well, that no, I did do something else because, well, I was a little bit lazy and I didn't want to mine myself. Um, well, this is going to take some time, but I did uh, make a mine shaft, and uh, luckily I found a cave so I could make a little base in my ca in the uh, cave. And what I did was I, I hope it's here. Mm, it is gone oh no it's not I made this little guy so I'm going to um, explain you all you need to know about the turtles um, well first things first of course why did I choose a turtle why didn't I just make a quarry well that's a very logical question for you to ask and there is a really simple answer for that Quarries are frickin' expensive. They cost about 11 diamonds and because I'm not that far in game yet, I just d didn't want to, well, spend all that, uh, that material, those materials, all those materials on one measly quarry. I mean, I can do that later, but right now the most obvious choice for me was to make a mining turtle and I'm going to show you first how to make a regular turtle so um, turtle there we go this is a regular turtle just press R you need a computer um, Tacket also includes computer craft you can make your own programs and stuff but you don't really need to know anything about that for the things I'm going to show you today so first you need to make a computer, you need to have regular stone, some redstone and a glass pane. Then you make a computer and then you just take some iron and a chest and you make a turtle. How to make a mining turtle? Just take a diamond pickaxe, put it next to a turtle and there you have it. Now why did I choose a turtle and not just um, any regular old uh, quarry? Why didn't I just wait? Well there are a few advantages to the mining turtle that I'm going to explain you and also of course a few disadvantages so it's up to you whether you want to use a mining turtle or not the well the most 
attractive mm, advantage of a mining turtle is that it is cheap. It's just a cheap piece of equipment. In comparison, of course, it's a cheap piece of equipment. The downside is that you need to know how to operate one. And that is what I'm going to show you today. So, you just plonk it down um, uh, and you search a 2x3 wall. You right click the turtle and if you don't know what to do, just type help. Then, as you can see, you can type programs. And we want to use the program tunnel. Now the tunnel program will make a 2x3 tunnel um, and we just have to input how long it has to be and I'll in do the input 10 and it'll just go and tunnel a 10 uh, block long tunnel. Um, the, down uh, the other downside of a turtle is that... Hello? Oh, okay, good. The other downside of a turtle is that um, it's very well. It's you can let it do its thing, but at a certain point, it'll get full, and then you'll need to restart it again. Uh, a quarry doesn't need that, so that's why it's more expensive. But it's not so so hard to work with, and it's not so labor intensive. Where a turtle actually is. Hmm. Have some lag spikes. Don't know why. Anyway. So as you can see the turtle is mining away. If you right click you can see that the inventory of the turtle is here. It's not that big. That's why you uh, need to stay uh, by it well almost continuously. But there are two ways to mine with a turtle. The first uh, way, of course, is to just dig a tunnel and let it go from there. But the second method, and let's see, I need a mining turtle. There we go. Is you can plonk it down. I'll plonk it down here. You pr do excavate. And I'll do a excavation site of 12 by 12 big, so 12. And it'll just dig, and when it's done, it'll return to the starting position, and it'll wait for you to um, get the materials that it found. The um, upside, of course, is that it returns. The downside is when it's full, it won't dig any further, and you have to manually put it into work again. It'll pro uh, normally it'll just dig down to bedrock and once it reaches bedrock it goes back or until the inventory is full. Also it'll stop when you log out and it's still in progress so that's something to keep in mind. Um, you'll have to search for it when you log out when it's still working. Now we'll let that guy just do its job, dig a little bit of a hole and we'll go up. So that's what I've been up to and I recommend you to use a mining turtle in the earlier stages of, um, well, your tech it adventures. Of course, I, I have a friend, I, I play in an online server as well, and my friend, he uses, well, I believe three or four mining turtles at a time. And we dug out the most amazing cavern ever. It's just, it's so enormous it's so huge you really can do a lot of work when you uh, take a little time with the mining turtles but it's up to you of course if you want to go directly for a quarry which we'll do later uh, in the series you can do that too it's just this is my recommendation to you because I thought it was well pretty neat to have something like that most people don't really use it but it's really 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 useful especially on servers so, give it a try. I mean, if you don't like it, you can always do something else. So, now that we've done that, hmm, we probably need to decide what to do next. Because I've talked over everything I wanted to, to actually start up a little bit. And um, with uh, this equipment, these, these uh, pieces of equipment, you can probably come a long way. 
But we're going to go into the more advanced. Um, oh, no! No! Oh, God. Stupid mistake. No, you too. Oh, God. Okay, just I'll just take him out right here. That was a very stupid of me. I cannot believe how stupid I am sometimes. Come on. Come on. Up. Oh, there we go. So, just put it that back here. Need some... Where's my iron pipe? Uh, oh, there it is. Stupid of me. There we go. So, what I wanted to say, we're going to go into the more advanced stuff now. So, um, when you've got this, you're pretty much set. You're good to go for the uh, beginning of, well, everything you need to do. But, of course, there are even better ways to get everything done. And that's what we're going to do. Um, maybe before we do that, I want to show you one cool uh, trick. Tree taps. If you make an electric tree tap, it's just way better because you don't need to waste all the wood. And it's just way more durable than a normal tree tap is. So we'll just make an electric tree tap. And I'm going to show you how you're going to how you should do that. Now we need an RE battery. Bat. There we go. And we need tin, copper cables, and redstone. Now we have the redstone, we have the tin. And we have the copper cables. Okay, nice. So copper cable, tin, and some a uh, redstone. Uh, there we go. RE battery. And, 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 and I need some more cables. One, two, six. And three copper. There we go. Oh, I, I need some rein, uh, not reinforced, refined iron as well. Now, I need to also make a um, circuit, an electronic circuit. So, that's what we're going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Refined iron in the middle, redstone. I'm going to show you how to automate this pro process uh, in a future episode. Don't know if it'll be next episode or the one after that, but it'll be in the near future anyway. So, electronic circuit, check. RE battery, check. We just need some uh, wood for a normal tree tap. One, two, three, four, five. Now the tree tab goes here, the electronic circuit here, and the battery here, is that correct? Yes, it is. Now I'll just um, show you how to uh, charge electronic uh, devices real quickly. Electronic tree tab, put them up top, and there we go. It's fully charged. Now this will last a long time, and when it's empty, we'll just have to charge it again, so it's really durable. It's really, um, it's carbon neutral. It's good for the environment. Um, so, as you can see, the normal tree tap would, um, significantly, significantly, words, you know, words, significantly uh, degrees in durability, but that's not the case with the electric tree tap. And when it's just done, you can just uh, power it again by mm, charging it up, so... It's a really nice piece of equipment. I like it. It's really simple. You can make it in, well, less than a minute. But it's just so effective. There we go. Now, the next thing I'll probably need to do is... I need glowstone. And for glowstone, we need to go to the nether. And I don't like the nether very much because I have bad memories of that place. I just can't seem to return alive. That's the problem. But, well, we're going to try that. I need to mine some obsidian. Um. Oh, wait, before that. While we're talking about um, electronic devices, electric devi devices, we need a, a drill because that is really handy because you can charge it up and it will not break. Ever. It'll empty pretty fast but nevertheless 
I kind of want to make a diamond drill. Let's see how many diamonds we have left. We have three diamonds left. Hmm. Maybe we can convert pumpkins into diamonds. That would be nice. No, not enough. Hmm. Maybe we can boost it with a little bit of gold. That would be nice. There we go. Some gold. So, oh, wow. Some pumpkins. There we go. A diamond. Hmm, what do we need? We need some steak. Steak is always useful. There we go. And we have a diamond. Now, I always like to have one spare diamond at least. There we go. So, we're going to make a drill. First, I need some refined iron. There we go. And I need a RE battery. So, I need some tin. One, two, three, a four. And I also need some copper cabling for the battery. So, one, two, three, four. Copper cable. Mm, redstone. There we go. RE battery. Now, I need a electronic circuit. So, we just need to... That's why it's really handy to just automate this process um, earlier on in the game. I'll probably do that next episode because I'm getting sick and tired of this already. So, let's see. One, two, three. Copper cables. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Refined iron in the middle. And of course, red stones on the side. You will never ever forget this recipe in your life, and it will haunt you in your dreams. It really, really will. Anyway, let's just smelt some iron. So, there we go. We need some extra. Um, refined iron and then we'll make a diamond drill out of it. It can break 200 blocks before recharging. That might seem like a lot, but it is not. And it gets really annoying to um, power that thing again and again and again and again, but it's still a useful piece of equipment to have um, before you get your dark matter tools. And that sounds fancy, I know. There we have it, our diamond drill. So, I need to power it. There we go. That's nice. Quick and easy. Good. Now, I have my little bucket of water. And I will go down the hole to search for some lava. To mine some obsidian. To get a portal to the nether. To get some glowstone. To make... An energy collector, probably, and an energy condenser, also, but that's for next episode. We'll probably do that. Oh, oh, this is really interesting. I can um, give you a little bit of a preview. Oh, lapis. Hello, thank you, lapis. Um, this right here is uranium, and of course, with uranium you can make a nuclear reactor and we're going to do that in the series also I'm really looking forward to it it can go horribly 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 wrong but nevertheless it's fun to do <laughs> okay let's just put the mining turtle back to work a lot of cobblestone dude a lot of cobblestone yeah yeah um just mine that thank you Mm, put it in here. Let's see. Mining turtle. Up. Oh, there we go. Excavate a 12. Now, have fun. Oh. Oh, not again. Oh, it's, it's already over. Okay, nice. So, um, I forgot to show you one thing, actually. Oh. Hmm. Not good. Not good at all. I forgot to show you you one thing why do you keep interrupting me do you find this fun i do not find this fun i put down a copper chest and i'll just show you how to make it chest copper chest just surround a regular chest with some copper and you have a copper chest a copper chest is bigger than a regular chest it's about as big as uh, two regular chests side by side the advantage of this is, though, that you can upgrade it with uh, these upgrades. For example, copper to silver chest, or copper to iron chest. 
and then it'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger until it hits diamond. Then you have another tier that's crystal, but this is just see-through. It's not really that useful at all. Anyway, um, it's really useful to do, uh, to have, because you can just upgrade it and get more space as you go. And that's just what everyone needs, really, because, well, um, oh, you just run out of space so quickly in Tekkit that it's just so, so unbelievably useful to have. Now we're going to mine some obsidian. I don't know how much we'll need because as I told you before I really 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 hate the nether and I almost... N I, I don't really go there a lot. don't really go there. So I don't really know how much... Oh! That was dangerous. Don't know how much we'll need. Um... I think I'll go for 10. I thought it was 8. But it's um, 2 by 2 wide and 3 high, I believe. Um, anyway, so 10 should suffice. Didn't need to water, water bucket. That's, um, that's very no Oh, God. Now, that was dangerous. It was very dangerous. I'm really prone to falling in lava. So that's why I don't really like working with it. It has its uses for um, thermal generators, which we will get into, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, just get this one. There we go. I'll plug up this hole for now. And we will continue. So, need to get up here. Luckily... Oh, wait. I don't really have a flint and steel, I believe. Flint and tinder. Don't know how you call it, but I don't have it. Um, let's see, uh, we're, we're just going to stash some things away, get some glowstone, and then I'll probably end the episode there for today, because next time we'll, we have a lot of uh, things to do. Oh, um, because this episode is about tools, I might as well just show you, it's a, you can also make a chainsaw, really useful, really is, just make it like this, it's fairly simple, almost the same as making a, di a, um, a drill. And um, yeah, it's also really useful. I'm not going to make it right now because I'm a little bit lazy. A little bit lazy. And that's why I play Tekken. Because you can be lazy, as lazy as you want. It's wonderful. <sighs> it's really wonderful. Uh, let's see, do I... I'll just repair my tools for a second. Mmm, food. I, d I have enough food for now. Just put some things away. It God, just go. Ah, that's better. Um, don't need the iron, coal, wooden door. Don't know why I'd carry a door. This can be processed. Oh, wait, no. Uh, you should save some tin ore because later we will need to make some copper and you will need tin for that. So, just keep it close. There we go. Mm. It would have been nice if I'd given myself some, well, some uh, tinder, some, 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 some flint. But I'm stupid, and I did. Oh, and we are lucky, lucky, lucky people. Um, at least, no, no, we are lucky people. We are lucky people. Just, you wait and see. We'll, we'll get a. Hey Flint, don't you worry, don't you worry, it'll be fine, said it will be fine. I'm feeling like a fool right now. Mm, I'm just going to make a shovel just in case. I really feel like a fool. Oh well, anyway, as you can see the diamond drill is pretty 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 uh, weak but it's still really useful because you can just charge it up as I already told you a million times because I'm just repeating myself like a stupid monkey because I don't know what to say anymore but at least I'm honest about it there we go just some sticks um, shovel thank you go down And there we are. Okay, now I need some flint. Come on, guys. Give me a bit. 
Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hmm. That was rather nice. I like that. Oh, 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 oh. I'll just dig out a hole. The nether a room, as we shall call it. Henceforth, this shall be called the nether room. It has creepy sounds already, so it's perfect. Okay, one, two, three, three wide, and you make it a little bit higher. Two, there we go. This should be high enough. Two, two, two. It's not wide enough, is it? No, because I'm stupid. And now it's empty. There we go. Yay! At the best of times, it just runs out of power. Stupid, 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 stupid little thing. Oh well. Um, let's go up. Eat some pork on the way. It's not really safe to eat on a ladder. It's it's stupid. Why, why, why am I doing that? Well, maybe I'm an expert climber. I'm just so good at climbing. I have medals. Medals, they... Um, they are on the wall in the bedroom. You just haven't seen them yet. They are behind the martial arts picture, if you can remember it. There are the medals for the best climber in the Minecraftian world ever. Who will, uh, who will ever, forever and ever and ever, will be the best climber ever, 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 ever. Ever title. And... I have the feeling you don't believe me, but it's true. You'll see. It's true. Anyway, uh, one, two. Um, some obsidian. I hope this is right. I can hear the people yelling at me and screaming at me now that it's wrong, but... No, it works! Okay, nice. Let's go! This can't possibly go wrong! <sighs> Come on. Oh, wow. Mm, not too bad. Not too shabby. It's a nice place. Okay. I need to mine some um, stuff. It's burning. It's hot. I like it better hot. I don't really like the cold. Don't really have anything with cold. do like skiing, but not the cold. No. If you could ski in warm places, that would be best. Would be the best. Just, you know, like on the sand. Is that a thing? I, I believe it is. Something like sandboarding, but with skis. Sand skiing or something like that. That would be nice. I would be in for that. I would find that fun. Basically, we just need one piece of glowstone. But now that we're here, we can take a little bit more than that. Um... Why do we need one, you ask? Well, we have that uh, alchemy thingy with Jig. What was it called again? Um, condenser or something like that. Anyway, we have that, and now I want to go back. Oh, I these things just scared the hell out of me. Got no aghast. No, want to go back. Want to go back. 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 Fast. Quick. <sighs> I'm safe. I really, I'm always scared. Will pretty much pantsless when I see a ghast. Those things just absolutely kill me. Ugh. Anyway, I'll just put one in the um, transmutation tablet. That's what it was. Ha! Now we can make glowstone. Now I'm happy. I'm happy, you guys. We did a lot today. We didn't die. At least I think we didn't die. So... It was a nice day. Well, guys, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.